Asia dominating the top this five. Is the women's 400 meters freestyle S9 finals. Please welcome your finalists. Now we move to some women's events for the first time today. It's the women's 400 meters freestyle S9. Vietnam, Le Lerti Dung of Vietnam in lane two. Lane three representing Malaysia, Yo Yi Lin. Yo Yi Lin of Malaysia in lane three. Lane four representing Thailand, Sarirut Komkau. Sarirut Komkau, who competed well yesterday in lane four for Thailand. Lane five representing Thailand, Anchai Ketka was the uh, one of the big competitors here. She's won two gold medals already in the Lane women's 100 meters breaststroke and the women's 100 meters freestyle. Can she make it three? And Wadina, Indonesia, late six. S9 is for swimmers with low level coordination problems affecting the arms and legs, high degree of weakness in one leg, or the loss of limbs. These swimmers have difficulty applying their power evenly to the water, especially at high speed. So this is the longest distance that we will have in these swimming events, 400 meters. Anchai Kekau is the one to watch in lane five. Wadina, by the way, 45 years of age in lane six. Seems to be an issue for Yo Yi Lin. She's not got on the block just yet. Just seems to be an issue. Seems to be suffering with some pain. Something's not quite right. The competitors have been told to get off the blocks. Something's not right, unfortunately, for Yo Yu Lin. She seems to be in some discomfort. That is really unfortunate for her. They are trying to get her off. I think she wants to she wants to compete. And the crowd are getting behind her. Great to see. Her coach is uh, trying to talk to her, trying to encourage her. Obviously, she is not 100% and they're trying to say, no, don't compete. They're going to withdraw her. That is a real, real shame for her. And we do feel for her. Well, obviously, you want every competitor to be able to take part. They've trained ever so hard for this for a couple of years now since the last Power Games. So to withdraw at this stage, of course, would be massively disappointing they'd want to give themselves every opportunity to start this race and it was just before they got going something obviously wasn't quite right with yo yi lin she does look in a fair bit of discomfort it would be great to see her compete of course even if she can't be at her very best but that is entirely her prerogative We are a little bit further away now from the shot, so we can't quite see what's going on. It looks like a coach is talking to her. He's uh, getting the crowd right behind her. He's saying to her, you will race. And she's doing it. Let's give all the swimmers a round of applause. Something is not quite right there. 
Now let's see if she will. Yes, she is going to compete. Absolutely brilliant to see. And the crowd absolutely recognise that as well. Let's see how she performs. Well, unfortunately not a very good start for her, but uh, it's just good to see her in the pool. And there's no surprises, it's Anchaya Ketkow who gets off to the best start. The pre-race favourite. Just ahead of Surirut Kamkau. This is a, an endurance race for these girls, so... Can't tell too much at these early stages. Pretty good from Leiti Dung as well. Just in front. It'll be between these three, you feel. Leiti Dung, Surirut Kamkau and Anchaya Katkau. The crowd getting into this now as we approach the halfway mark. Yoli Lil is uh, well behind, as is Wadina. Touching first will be Swirat, then Lady Dung, followed by Anchaya Katkau. You'll start to see them accelerate. Very shortly indeed. There's uh, Yo Yi Lin, who's uh, last at the moment. That uh, is totally irrelevant at this point. Anchaya, nominally in the lead, ahead of Surirut. Later Dung in third. So it's Ancha in that lead at the moment, Surat in second, Leiti Dung in third. Coming up to the halfway mark. Anchaya, well in front now, and you'd feel she would be favourite to win this at the halfway mark. Second, Surat Komkau. It'll be a battle for the silver medal. Leiti Dung in third. Three minutes on the clock, trying to find Yo Yi Lin. Has she stopped or is she still competing? But for now, there the other she is, good to see. She is clearly struggling, Yo Yi Lin, but she is fighting on. That's great to see. Anchai Katkau. Two hundred and fifty meters. It's the battle for second and third, that'll be interesting. Surirut and Leiti Dung. But Anchai Katkau will be the first to get three gold medals here. As of now. Just hitting the four-minute mark. Swimming very well here. Hundred meters or less for her. And the lead to the Americas, Rich Marquez is going for the last hundred meters. Come on, OCBC for XML. I think she is looking very good to beat the game's record. 
certainly won't beat the Asian record, but she's looking very, very comfortable at the moment. I think she'll beat it comfortably. She's also, by the way, about to lap Yo Yi Lin. As I said before, though, that will not matter at all. Yo Yi Lin, who was clearly struggling before she came in. They will be happy just to finish this race as we are into the final 50 metres. And it's and Chai Ketkow, who is looking for a hat-trick of gold medals. And the tie will smash the game's record as well. She should do it comfortably. With the crowd showing their appreciation. And there you have it. She's beaten it by a whopping 12 seconds, 12 and a half seconds or so. Very, very well done by Antaya Kekau. It's going to be a close one for the silver. Very, very tight. Oh, well, they've got it down as uh, Sureru. I think that's just about right. Lady Dunk in third. Very, very tight. The new game's record for Anchaya Ketkau as they await Wadina and Yo Yi Lin to complete the race. Wadina, remember, 45 years of age. There she is, Wadina. She finishes there in lane six. And now all eyes on Yo Yi Lin, who was uh, unfortunately lapped. But just to remind you once again, before the race started, she was in some serious discomfort. There was a strong possibility of her not going to even compete in this race. But she resisted that temptation and decided to race anyway. And I think that must be congratulated. She was clearly, clearly not 100%. Let's hear it for lane three. Yo, he lane as she's swimming and the crowd getting right behind her in these final few meters. Great stuff all round in this women's 400 meter freestyle S9 race. And she touches home. Well done, athletes. She is the athlete to beat. And Chaya Katkau. The unofficial results are displaying. Got off to a, an excellent start. There was brief resistance, as it were, from Surirut and Lite Dum. She never really faltered after that, did she? There you go, confirmation. She won very comfortably, did Surat and uh, 